Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, back with another hunting tool video. This one is the Gerber Vital, and I'm really excited about this. I've been looking into these kind of blades for a while. I believe Benchmade has something like this, and I know there's the Havilon Skinner and all that stuff, and I was watching a Blade HQ video recently, and they brought this up, and they kind of compared it against the Havilon, and then, you know, obviously this is the Gerber, and there's pros and cons to each, and they're roughly about the same price, and uh, I've got plenty of experience with Gerber products. They're definitely on the lower entry level to mid-range as far as, you know, blades and tools are concerned, but they work. You know, I've, I've been saved in a situation many a times by a Gerber multi-tool um, and or pocket knife or, or something. They're just handy to have. They're relatively affordable, and I really like this one myself personally over the Havilon, and we'll tell you why. First, we'll give you, you know, this is the packaging it comes in. It's the Vital uh, Exchangeable Blade Folding Knife, which is exactly what it is. Another thing that's nice about Gerber, lifetime warranty. Gotta love that. North America only. We're the only ones that matter anyway. I'm just joking around, guys, but um, that's funny because I love America. Here's some of the specs on it. Uh, closed length, the overall length, the weight. It's glass-filled nylon handle, and it's a lockback. So, that's, uh, that's pretty important because when you're skinning game, uh, you know, there's blood involved. Blood is like oil, and uh, it's very, very, very slippery. So, having a locking blade uh, is a must because these things are extremely sharp. It's got kind of like a, a box cutter or, you know, um, replaceable blade style thing. You know, very thin, very, very razor sharp. Let's see if we can get you a better focused picture on that. Uh, it's stainless. I'm sure they're not using any crazy, you know, steel on it. Just regular thin kind of sheet metal stainless steel. Um, but that that's part of, of the gimmick. And it's not so much a gimmick. It's a very uh, tried and true idea and a very useful idea. I really do love the ergonomics of this blade. It fits perfectly into my hand. Uh, it feels really good. It feels ergonomic. You can even choke up and then rest your thumb here so you can get more precise cuts and stuff like that if you're really working deep in the animal or, or whatever you're doing. Uh, it's got kind of like a rubberized texture everywhere that you see that's black. And then surprisingly enough, the little ridges and bumps like the jimping that's orange, uh, it is actually very aggressive and very grippy. And so not only does it mold perfectly into the hand, it feels like an extension of my hand. Uh, at least for my hand, obviously, that's probably going to be different for you. But the ergonomics, the grip, and uh, just overall build quality seems really, really nice. It is a lockback, so it's locked now. You would depress this to be able to fold it back. Um, what did I do? There we go. Okay, and then it's tip down carry only, which is probably what you want. Regardless, uh, it's not swappable. You can't change the clip. It's just the one orientation. But these things are absolutely razor, razor sharp. They're meant to cut through flesh, and so if that were to open up in your pocket for whatever reason and you stuck your hand in there, uh, you better have a tourniquet, you know? So, that's the blade, and uh, then I'm going to show you guys how to disassemble this. Hopefully, um, I'm not going to cut myself on video. That would be pretty terrible. So, there's this button, little D10 button. It's, it seems like it's almost like spring-loaded or something. You're going to push that down and then pull the blade right off. Look at how easy that was. That's extremely easy. You know, you're in the field, your hands are cold, you don't have a lot of dexterity. Um, it's more than easy enough to take it off, and then they provide you with this nice plastic box that holds, I think, six extra blades. There's six more blades inside of there, and so not only does it protect the, the blades, keeps them from rusting, getting water on them, and it's a nice way to keep them housed inside of something so they're not cutting things up, you know, and just loose in your bag, or you got to put them in a Ziploc bag, and then it rips that, and it's a whole thing. So then, obviously, reverse order to put in a new blade, same thing, let it go, make sure it locks into place, and then your gravy, baby, you know, and then again, folds right back up. So it's extremely lightweight, um, and with, you know, hiking into where you're hunting, depending on where you hunt and how you hunt, uh, and just in general, ounces equal pounds, pounds equal pain. This is extremely lightweight, extremely useful. The extra blades don't weigh nothing. The only thing I have to look into is where I can get extra blades, because I assume that you can buy them and they make them, because otherwise, 
you know, you only get, what, six or seven blades and then you got to buy another one. I don't think that's how that goes. Uh, I didn't see any spares at Bass Pro. Maybe you got to order them straight through Gerber. I don't know exactly how that would work. But for the money and for the rep reputation that Gerber has themselves, I really am liking this a lot. Uh, I haven't used it yet. I'm excited to do so. And uh, I can't imagine that it's not going to perform how it's intended to perform. Just from the feel of the quality, the lock is sturdy, the ease of replacing the blades. You know, you're out in the field and, uh, you know, you're skinning, depending on how big the animal is, you might go through two or three blades on one animal. And so it's nice rather than having to, you know, bust out the field sharpener, which isn't that great to begin with. Plus, it's probably going to be heavier than carrying around extra blades themselves in this configuration. And then you're going to be in the middle of the woods, might be getting dark, might be getting late. There could be predators around and you got to skin that animal and get it out of there quick. You know, this is a quick, easy, proficient way of doing that. And uh, whether you like this one or the Havilon, let me know. Uh, let me know if you guys have any experience with this, good or bad, because I have yet to use it. Um, I'm not seeing anything but positive reviews on it so far, though. And I'm really, really digging it. It's not that expensive, and I think it's well worth the money. The construction seems solid, and I'm excited to take it out in the field and, and get in the gut and some stuff. So that's the video, guys. Thank you for watching. Check the links in the description box per usual. Uh, if you shop at some of those links, it really helps me out. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Get at me on all my social media accounts, and we will catch you on the next one. Peace.